Theft Auto 5. Now, we all look at Grand Theft Auto 5 as one big island, correct? But what about all the little islands? All the little islands around, how many do you think there are? How many islands do you think there are in Grand Theft Auto 5? 136. Give or take a few. For example, these don't count as islands. Like, what is that? This one is just underwater. And that, I mean, that's smaller than the dick of someone who drives a lifted Ford F-350. Puts into perspective. But, I took it upon myself to rank every island in Grand Theft Auto V so you don't have to. But wait, you're probably asking, how did I rank them? What did I rank them on? I gave them a name so we can identify them better than Island 1, Island 7, and Island 69. Then, I rank them on these five categories. How likely to not be taken over by the British Empire in the early 17th century? Yes, weirdly specific, I know. But trust me, it's important when you're looking at an island. How likely is the island to have a nudist beach? Asking the important questions. How likely the island is to be haunted? In Grand Theft Auto V, you know there's gotta be a few of them. Does it look like a chicken nugget? And lastly, a bonus point for uniqueness and location, because we need something logical in here, right? And without further ado, let's get into it. Starting in at 122nd place, we have Pencil. It's just a line. Next up we have Cupid. If you squint, it kind of looks like a heart. And then we have Used Pencil. The same island as before, only shorter. Then we have Chia Plant. It almost looks like it has hair. The fourth side of the die, because that's all it looks like. Pluto, because when the waves come up, it's the closest thing to not being an island that an island could be. We have the missing link. I don't know where this puzzle piece goes. We have a wad of gum that even the ocean decided to spit out. This one looks like a dookie. This one is similar to the pencil, but it's thinner, and therefore, it's a toothpick. This one just looks like a dick. See, I, when I look at this island, it makes me think of literally nothing. This one had the waves splashing up a lot, so I imagine the splash zone at SeaWorld. Nobody likes candy corn. Just like, nobody likes this island. With the way the waves hit this island, it just looks like gelatin. And when the waves come up on this island, it looks like Venice, because it's sinking. This one just looks like a dried out Sharpie. And look, they left the lid over here too. This island just got split in two. We'll call it Moses. Ow! I'm not used to having stuff behind me. This island is also sinking, so I called it quicksand. This one just looks like a claw. And this one is similar to the other one, but it's sinking faster. Quicker sand. This one just looks like Charmander did a face plan in the ocean. Again, this island has no personality. This one's called landing pad, because it was very easy for me to land my helicopter there when I was giving it a ranking. This one looks like a pool cue. Look at the island, look at the pool cue. They're the exact same. This one looks like a bunch of flakes of gold in the gold pan. Except unlike gold, it's also worthless. This one just looks like a dinosaur footprint, which is kind of cool. This one looks like a nose, depending on how you look at it. This one is just an egg. This is one of the most bland and boring islands on the list. The color beige. See, this one, I don't know what it is about it. Think of that famous S that we drew in elementary school. You know the one. Looks like this. Kyle, could we get like a, a thing up here for that? Like of someone drawing it? No? Okay, cool. Well, thank you. What am I paying you for? What do you- I do pay you. Okay, I buy you food once a week, and how is that not enough? We can talk about this later, okay? This one looks like an oval, if it was rendered at a very low level. This one is also sinking, but it kind of disappears in the waves. It reminds me of that video of the raccoon trying to wash the cotton candy as it disappears in its hands. It's the rock from Lion King, but small. This one just reminded me of Pompeii. I mean, all those bodies that are just kind of stuck there. This island is the embodiment of the sound. Ugh. So you know, this one's name would make you think it's really nice and really good. It's Capybara. Kind of looks like one. Okay, now this island has something going for it. This island reminds me of that meme of the kid drowning in the pool. This is just Battleship, the game. This one just looks like a severed finger. And these are the triplets. This one just reminds me of a Surface Pro. I will not be elaborating. And this one, way up north, sometimes you can't even see that it's there. It's the Northern Lights. This one reminds me of the rock from the Goonies. Side by side comparison, and now, moving into the top 75 islands. That's a lot of islands. You can't imagine how long it took me to rate and take photos of each and every one of these. This video took a tremendous amount of effort, so if you're enjoying, please consider liking and subscribing. In 75th place, Dead Dog. Bale Pattern Baldness. The Five of Diamonds. You know the playing card? This one just looked like an acorn. Oh, it's an incomplete jigsaw puzzle. That's where the missing link goes. 
This one just looks like a lump of Play-Doh. Not fun to eat. Then we got the slip and slide because it was impossible to land a helicopter here. And then we got the windbreaker jacket. Why? It was windy that day and I was not feeling very creative. In 67th place, this island made me think of an island. This one looks like ground pepper because it's just sprinkles in the ocean. We got a jalapeno pepper. Now, these were separate islands to start with. Tide pods, which are fun to eat. Disclaimer, they are not fun to eat. Do not eat Tide pods. We've been through that challenge already. It did not work. Don't do it. This one just reminded me of Thanksgiving. This one reminds me of the Yellow Submarine. The song, not the vehicle. Now this island, I know it's hard to see, but it's almost like this island doesn't exist. An intelligent frat boy. This one just looks like a drumstick. This one reminds me of a seal. Now I really don't have an explanation for this one, but it reminds me of a stirrup. Umlaut. Now this one just looks like a T-bone. The car accident, not the food. We'll call him Big Brother. Now this island, for my Canadians, it's called Alberta. For my Americans, it's called Texas. Pipelines. This one just looks like a broken letter J. Never seen the fucking show, but this one reminds me of Zoidberg. And this one, this looks like a uterus. Take the sex ed course. In 50th place, we have American Ninja Warrior. Cause it looks like those things you jump back and forth from. This one looks like a saw. Looks like it should be haunted, but no. This one looks like a tooth and it reminded me of a root canal because at this point, I was in pain from looking at all of these shitty islands. The troublemakers, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. And then I said, this one looks like a sprinkled donut. It's in the Alamo Sea, and it's quite unique, being one of the only islands in the middle of the map. And then we have the Buckfred Island, the starting island for my own personal race that I like to do to test my skills across the entire map of Los Santos. In 43rd place, we have Houdini. Now this island kind of looks like a rib, but you know that it's not a rib, and for that reason, I'm calling it the McRib because McDonald's doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. And this pile of rocks is Korg, the Wii Sports Resort. Now this sheer section of rocks is a cheese grater. This one just looks like a flat fish Roz from Monsters, Inc. We have a museum because of that little pedestal you can see on top of the island. We have the one-winged sparrow. So it crash landed here and can't fucking swim. Now this one's called the Great Wall. It would make it very difficult for it to be taken over by the British in the 17th century. And then we have the Loch Ness Monster. This island, which reminds me of the song Below by Seth Claves. This one has a few tall trees and one of them is tilted. Tilted towers. And this island is called Waldo. Because as the waves come up, where'd it go? This island reminded me of Trolls, because it's under the bridge. But not any troll. Trolls the movie. This one reminded me of a fish fillet. Hippa! You'll notice there's not really any cliffs here. But it reminds me of Cliffhanger the character. Now, moving into the top 25, we have Doug Trio. In 24th, we have Shark Tooth because, well, that's what it looks like. And with it being in the ocean, kind of menacing. And then we have Hand Shadow. It looks like one of those dog hand shadows that people do. And in 22nd place, this island just made me feel safe. If I was a child, so I called it the crib. Now this one located near the one winged sparrow looks like a foot, a sparrow's foot. This one reminds me of humps. Humps make me think of a camel. And in 19th place, we have Bikini Bottom because there's a coral reef nearby and some beaches and made me think of sandy cheeks and I don't know. In 18th place, this island just made me look like a boomerang. Despite the fact that I will never go back to this island because I don't want to see another island in GTA 5 ever again. Now, this was the first island I stopped at, and it reminded me of military haircuts. Now, there was some debate on whether or not this counted as an island, because it is absolutely massive, about two or three times larger than the next biggest island. And with it being the largest island in the swamp, it's gotta be Shrek's, right? Now, this island is very unique. It's located in a mirror park in that little lake. I had to haul this boat over here to get these pictures of a boat in this lake, but when I got there, there were some sweet ladies doing yoga, so, I shot them and called the island Downward Dog. Now in 14th place, I saw one fallen tree on this island. It made me think of the Lorax. Now this island is extremely basic. So plain, there's nothing on it, there's no foliage. But I couldn't find out why I was so in love with this island. I liked it so much, but it was so basic, just like bread. Now you might recognize this island. It's called Sumo. If you've ever played Sumo, the island map is the best map, and this is the island it took place. And for that reason alone, it jumped straight up into 12th place. Because there are four islands, the identical shape to this. Speaking of, we have Third Wheel. This is another island that is identical to the last one, give or take a couple minor changes. Problem is, this island is not used for anything. And now we get into the really nice islands. We'll break down the score of every category for the top 10 islands on this list. In 10th place, Natasha Romanoff. The island located around the waterfall where everything is falling and 
Too many people have died here. Thank you, X, for that name suggestion. Would it be haunted? Absolutely! I mean, look at it! How many people do you think have died on these waterfalls? And lastly, location and uniqueness, it got an 8 out of 10 because, well, I mean, look at it. There's no other island like it. Its location is pristine and its scenery is amazing. Now, ninth place might look very boring, but from a certain angle, it looks like an Italian celestial coming out of the earth, like in Eternals. There's not much else to say with this. It got almost all of its points by, with it being so steep, it would be difficult to take over by the British, and its location and uniqueness, as well as some bonus points for Italian Celestial, scoring it ninth place. Now, number eight, you see this island here? It's very close to shore, and when the waves come down, it's still technically connected to the mainland, but over 60% of the time, it is its own island. I call it attachment issues, because it's having a hard time letting go, because it also has this beautiful underwater reef right next to it. And seventh place, the lighthouse. Now, I called this one Minecraft lore because it reminded me of Paleolab. Link right there. My Minecraft lore server that had a lighthouse. We all know this island. We've all been here. We've all seen it before. It's the biggest building located on any of these islands. And for that reason, gaining most of its points from how likely it is to be haunted because every lighthouse is haunted. I mean, look at this thing at night. It's gorgeous. And in sixth place, we have Starting Island. This one is identical to the Sumo Island, but it's notoriously known as the starting island for a G-Fred over on Bruffy's channel. And in fifth place, breaking the top five, is this island. Now, it might not look like much, but it reminds me of the seagulls from Nemo. Mine, 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 mine. I mean, look at it. But you're probably wondering, how did this island score so high up above the lighthouse, above the waterfall? Because this island is most certainly haunted located just under the ocean's surface, just south, is a crashed Boeing 747 lying on the ocean floor. Rumor has it that no survivors made it, and this is the closest island that they would be able to haunt. And in fourth place, we have Bruffy Island, the finishing point of a G-Fred race, which has been crowned Bruffy Island by a large amount of the community. It has a building on it, which you can see here, and sometimes there's people here. But, if you look at the people here, they've clearly been swimming, and this is probably a nudist beach. Hate to break it to you, bruff, but your race ends on a nudist beach. Now, before we get into the top three, I would just like to mention the sponsor of this video. We don't have one. But, to fill the space, here are some honorable mentions. Now, the two islands you're probably thinking of that are probably going to be in these top three, I hate to break it to you, are not in these top three. The Keo Perico Island to me is definitely an island, but it's too big to fall into this category for the general island of Los Santos and San Andreas. Yes, the ocean goes all the way around it, but I did not count it as an island as it is far too large. What islands are in the top three? Well, in third place we have Jurassic Park. Similar to the Mirror Park Island, this is located in a small lake in the middle of the cemetery, 100%. This island is also haunted. I mean, there's dead bodies all around it, and on the island. Look, there's tombstones on the island. I guarantee you this has been used as a nudist beach. I know you don't want to think about it. nudist beach in a cemetery. It would happen. It would happen. Come on, you don't have that much faith in humanity. You know what would happen. Someone, someone, someone's dipped their balls in this water. And in second place, we have Jonestown. An island located just off the coast of Cayo Perico. This looks like any other normal island, until you realize that in the center of it, there are ten grave sites in a circle around a pedestal with a human skull on it. Now, if you tell me that this isn't cult energy, I'm going to tell you that you're wrong. This is 100% a cult. And in first place, we have this. Where'd it go? Where's the island? Where's the winning island? Uh, it was on the map. Just kidding, it's not on the map. Where? Oh! There it is! Located in the cave! We've all seen this cave before, a boat spawns in there, there's a small beach in there, which would 100% be a nudist beach. No questions asked. Would this island be taken over by the British in the early 17th century? Well, I give it a 5 out of 10. It probably would be, but it would probably take them a while to find it, because... It's not on any map, being underground and being the only island located within it. It also 
definitely, as mentioned before, is a nudist beach. I mean, look at this beach over here on the side. Nudist beach. It also kind of looks like a chicken nugget. On top of that, its location and uniqueness is top tier, being so unique and so out here on left field, scoring it first place with a score of 67 out of 100. If you disagree with any of my placements, please let me know in the comments below. But if you enjoyed and want to see more content like this, consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you all on the flip flop. Godsend. I mean, hell, I bought a green screen for this, guys. I bought a green screen for this.